Hi everyone, so this is part two of the walk through the hall grounds. There's the King's Road entrance. And I'm now going to walk down this way and back out at the bottom. So again, as I say, there's, there's not a massive amount to see. Some of the, the walkthroughs of the park, the hall grounds, etc. Because there's not a massive amount of history to tell about the places, they are quite silent videos, but I hope you still enjoy the sit in your armchair kind of view. So as you come down here, you can really see just in the distance there the water. I'm going to zoom it up a little bit and zoom it back out. I'm hoping that these are actually in focus because I've got the wrong kind of glasses on to see what's going on on the screen. So coming down here, you do eventually come to the old vinery wall, which was again, as I say, it was, this whole area was actually part of the private grounds that belonged to Walls End Hall. And they did have greenhouses and an area, the vinery walls had heated, heat in, <laughs> so much fun when you can't speak. Had little areas inside that heated the walls up to to help everything inside keep warm after the revamp unfortunately part of the wall collapsed so some of that's still in view so i might be able to see it it just depends on how much the grass and things have grown around it actually no you can't see it it's behind that green fence up there which I'll zoom up to it's behind that green fence but as you can see the trees and everything are all a bit too overgrown for you to be able to see much of the wall or anything else people who live in Wall's End will remember there used to be what was like a little cave it had lots of different stories connected to what people thought the cave was it was really just an entrance into the greenhouses etc behind I don't think there are any photos that actually exist of it like that so I don't really 100% know what it looked like you can just see that little entrance part I'll just zoom up because I'm just, just that little brown doorway there behind the fence that was the entrance part to the bit that everybody thought was a grotto some people thought lions were kept there I don't think so this is Wall's End where are you gonna get a lion So that's about the only part of the wall that you can see and it's really hard to see. So it's a shame you can't see the little ovens, I think they were called, that created the heat because they're all behind all of those trees. So 
we're now coming down to the bottom half of the hall grounds which leads you back out into the entrance to the burn you might see a few of these little things dotted around I'll just zoom up to this one because it saves us walking all the way over there these little things dotted around the whole grounds the idea is it's it's part of a, a trail and they have a handle and you put paper underneath press the handle down and it leaves the imprint of something say for example a leaf or a, a strawberry or something like that and that's the general idea of those so it's nice at the moment the sun's just decided to come out so it's quite nice So there's a little platform. And you can get a bit closer to the water and see. Well, you can't see upstream because there's a tree. There's always a tree. But you can see downstream a little and then climb back up the bank. And I'm sure once upon a time there used to be a little hut here. Bush, memory, not always certain. Again, it, I've tried not to film people, but it is quite difficult because it's it's busy. The little ducks. So now coming out back to the bridge that I went across in another video. And from where I'm standing, just in front there, I'll just zoom up. It's just trees, but I'll just zoom up. I used to walk down there on the inside of the wall when I was a kid. But you can't get in or out of that now anymore, so that's one childhood memory I can't repeat. So we're now coming out of the gates and back in to the entrance to the burn. And on the right hand side there, Is Crowbank. Not a bank I'd like to climb up. And that's it for the whole grounds. So I hope you've enjoyed it and thank you for watching.